Solama 3.2 Vision model is available on Olama website now. That means we can now run this model locally on our system using Olama. So in this video we will see the step by step process to run this model on local. And for that we will quickly set up Olama in our system. The steps are very easy and straightforward for that. So to set up Olama, first of all we will open the Olama's official website which is this olama.com. Now on this home page itself we will click on this download button. And here we will have these three options macOS, Linux and Windows. So we will select the corresponding operating system here. For me it is Mac. So I will go ahead with macOS and click on this download for macOS. And if you are using Linux or Windows then also the installation steps are very straightforward. So the downloading is finished now. And now we will quickly go to the location where it is downloaded. So this is the file. We will unzip this. Now double click on this application file, click on open here, click on move to applications. Now here we will click on this next, then finally click on this install. Here we will provide the password of our local machine, click on ok. The installation is finished now. Finally we will click on this finish here. Now we will pull and run the Llama 3.2 vision model. So for that we will again go to the Olama's website. Now here we will click on this models. Now most likely you will see this Llama 3.2 vision model here itself. Otherwise just search for it using this search option. For now we will click on this here. And on this page you will see information regarding this model. It is primarily a collection of multimodal LLM. And it is quite optimized for visual recognition, image reasoning, captioning and answering general questions about an image. And if we click on this drop down here. Then we have two variants, the 11 billion and the 90 billion. The first one is of 7.9 GB and the second one is of 55 GB. So whichever model you select here, just make sure you have sufficient space into your system. And for now we will go ahead with the 11 billion option here. So we will copy this command from here. And now we will open the terminal. So command and space then type terminal. Let's maximize this. And here we will paste that copied command. So let's hit enter now. It is now pulling up all the files of the model. And this will take quite considerable time to download the files. So please be patient here. So this is completed now and it took a lot of time for me. Now using this interpreter itself we can communicate with it. So let's say hi here. So it gave us the response. And to give this response it took some time and it was kind of slow and took a while for each token to appear on the screen. Now let's say we want to give some image and ask questions based on that. So this is our image and I am going to ask like what the image contains. So here I will write what is there in the image and also give me the count of that. Now I will paste the image. So this is the image. Let's copy this and I will go back to the terminal and here I will paste that. So it will paste the location of that image. So let's hit enter now. So here it has added the image in the prompt. Okay so finally we have got the answer and I had to wait for a couple of minutes like 4 to 5 minutes here. And here it is saying the image shows a pile of 5 apples which is not correct actually. All of which are red in color which is correct. So let me show you the image again. So this was our image and which has only four apples. But I don't know why it has detected five apples. Maybe it assumed that there is one more apple at the back. But anyway, so let's now give one more prompt. So this time we will give one simple math equation. So this is our equation which we want to solve. So here I will say follow the instruction of the image. And again I will paste the image. So I will copy this image from here. And I will paste the path. Let's hit enter now. Now again we will have to wait for some time here. Okay so we have got the response here. And this is saying it appears you have provided an equation for me to solve. And the equation which is correct. And to solve this equation I will follow these steps. So, the, so these are the steps it has provided. So the good thing here which I also like personally is it provided the proper steps to solve the equation which I like the most. And finally the solution to the equation is x equals to 5 which is correct. 
so now let's exit from this session so i'll say forward slash then b y e so we are out of that session now now let's say we want to run the model in our python code so i have opened the visual studio code and here i have created the virtual environment and this is the code to use this llama 3.2 vision model this code is very straightforward but in case you need it for reference then you can get it from Olama's website on this models page. So here if I scroll down a bit, then you would see the sample code for Python as well as for JavaScript. So from here you can copy the code and use it into your project. So again we will go back to the Visual Studio code. Now here we just need to install this Olama library. So in terminal I will say pip install and Olama. Now let me clear the terminal once and to run this code I will say python3 space main.py Okay so we got our response here and I have used the same image of apples which we used earlier. So this was our image and in response it is saying there are 5 apples which appear to be red delicious. They appear shiny and ripe. The background is white and the lighting suggests a professional photo shoot and blah 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 so again it is detecting only five apples here don't know why but anyway it gave the response here and it took couple of minutes here to give the response because in my system i don't have gpu i am just running on cpu itself now if you want to learn more about olama and hugging face then do check out the hugging face playlist on the channel i am sure you will get to learn a lot of things from those videos and you can also subscribe the channel for more such videos